Bonjour à tous, donc je suis ici à la Black House à Los Angeles en compagnie de James Montastri. Thank you very much James for this interview. Thank you very much for having me. So James, uh, can you present yourself in a few words uh, for our French MMA fans? Uh, my name is James Montastri. Uh, I'm in the UFC as a lightweight. My original base was, was Taekwondo. Uh, for the United States, I competed nationally and internationally and I was a national champion. And then in 2007, I was a Pan American Games silver medalist and then <clears throat> After the 2008 Olympic trials, I transitioned into MMA. Uh, were you interested about MMA from a long time, or uh, it was just after Taekwondo you discovered MMA and said, "Oh yeah, I want to do this"? Um, no, I wasn't really interested in MMA. I never really thought about it. But then after the Olympic trials, I wanted to do something else, and then I I saw other martial artists like Lyoto and Anderson Silva. Actually, I saw Lyoto walk out with his gi. And then that's when I said, oh, I think I can, I can do this. Is it hard for you to, to do this transition to the, to the ground game? Um, no. You know, Kenny Johnson helps me a lot with his bolt wrestling. Actually, Kenny is uh, my only wrestling coach I've ever had. So I'm like a white belt in wrestling. But Kenny has taught me for, I think, five years now. And uh, he's always supported me. And he, he's taught me everything to help me with my game. So, you know, without him, my wrestling would be nothing. I'm following you uh, since uh, a long time right now and I saw that you, you, you were getting better and better and uh, I saw this last fight at the RFA, you did an amazing KO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I had a great performance. Um, that KO is what got me into the UFC and then uh, unfortunately I lost a split decision and, but you know, for, for me it was a great experience and now I can't wait to get back into the, into the octagon. So when can we expect to see you fighting again? I want to fight. Uh, maybe at the end of uh, December or January, but right now I'm just training and then whatever comes will come. Your nickname is uh, Moonwalker. Uh, can you explain uh, why did you choose this nickname? <laughs> well, I love Michael Jackson and then actually my, my last name is Muntasri and so I have a friend uh, from Nigeria and he had a hard time pronouncing my last name so he would just call me the Moonwalker all the time and then, and then it just stuck. Here at the Black House, you also teach, uh, correct? That's correct. Yes, I do private lessons, and uh, you know, sometimes I'll if the coach isn't here, then I'll run the practice. Or, but I'm here all the time. What do you like to do when you have uh, free time? Do you have like a spe specific hobby that like, you like to do? Um, my dog. <laughs> Play with uh, with your dog. My dog Mocha. Actually, when I come and do my private, she's always here watching me do my private lessons. But I love my dog. I'm just a, I'm a very simple man. I like to eat good food and and go to the beach and relax and 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 training. My whole life is 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 training. You know. Uh, what would be your dream match uh, at the UFC? Of of course, you know my goal is to be the champion. Um, I think. If you need to fight for the title, who would like to, to face? I like Anthony Pettis' style. I think he has a good style because he has a Taekwondo base as well. But, you know, I'm not looking at the end. You know, I still have to go one step at a time. And, and you know, my main goal right now is just to get healthy and then prepare for my next fight. Good. Thank you so much, James, for this interview. And wish you the best for your career. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.